What does it take to be a fighter pilot? In line with the RSAF Open House 2011, the Singapore Air Force is offering a sneak peek into their grueling pilot training. inside the cockpit of an F-16 fighter jet. While this may not be the actual plane, but it's made to look exactly like the real F-16. It's used to train Air Force pilots how to fly, and members of the public will get the chance to experience it at the Air Force Open House. The F-16 operational flight trainer has a dome-shaped screen which allows pilots to practice navigation, takeoff, landing, and emergency handling through realistic scenarios. But before pilots get to go up in the air, this oh, no. is what they have to go through. Um, the improvement of this uh, piece of equipment versus the old piece of equipment that we had, this was the centrifuge, is that uh, in the past it was purely just about Gs. They go in, they do what the guy in the uh, video uh, did, they pull the G, they express the G, they let go. This new upgrade centrifuge can actually allow us to have what we call a DFS mode, a dynamic flight simulator mode, whereby the trainee can actually fly as he would be flying an aircraft. So all the buttons, all the MFDs, everything in there are functional, as it would be in its own aircraft flying in the air. This trainer trains our pilot trainees, our operational pilots, the proper posture to have, if they ever have to eject. This trainer will eject up to 4 Gs. That's the max we put for safety. Okay. In an actual aircraft ejection, it's about 3 times, 4 times that, uh, that, that amount of Gs for an ejection to occur. The hyperbaric chamber uh, for our trainees, what happens inside here is that we bring our trainees to altitude. Right? Depending on what profiles they run, we bring them up to, up to 25,000 feet. Okay, and then when we are there, we expose them to the hypoxic experience whereby we actually remove the mask, remove the oxygen, and get them to do psychomotor tasks to show them what happens, how your performance degrades when you're hypoxic. So uh, you've seen the centrifuge, you've seen the disorientation trainer, uh, the EST, the EST uh, ejectionistic trainer, and hyperbaric chamber. So all these, the common theme that we have is we want our pilots to understand what they can face, what they might face, right, and be able to deal with it but we expose them to it now, currently when they're safe here on sea level. Pilot training typically takes about three years. All operational air crew have to undergo practical refreshes of the same training every year or once every two to three years to practice flight techniques and procedures. Being a, a good pilot, I think uh, most importantly is uh, you must have the uh, will to fight as well as uh, probably determination because uh, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, work and the challenges that's been placed. For example, like what you see in the uh, HTC, uh, we are we are put under great stress, spinning around in the IG. So uh, physically, we have to be uh, fit in order to to uh, sustain that kind of G, and also to make sure that uh, while we still able to sustain IG, we still need to make sure we fly the aircraft and execute the mission well. So that's that's I think uh, the determination is one of the key player as well as the fighting spirit. These are the two uh, main items that. Uh, is, uh, is required as a pilot. The Air Force Open House runs from 28th to 29th May. Get a behind-the-scenes look at how RSAF pilots are trained in our other clip.